Good day guys. In this tutorial, I am going to be demonstrating the production of an object using our absolute coordinates system. In the absolute coordinate system, all points, all points are measured from our origin, which on our graph is at the point zero comma zero. That's considered our origin. And so you will notice that our point A, which is where we are incidentally going to be starting our drawing, our coordinate at that point is 20, 10. Notice that from our graph, we are at the point 20 on our x-axis and 10 units on our y-axis. And so to draw this, I'm actually going to be using polylines. And so I go polyline. When prompted by AutoCAD to specify my start point, I give 20, 10 and give enter. My drawing has started and it, is as, it, has, it has started at the point 20 on my x-axis, 10 on my y-axis. When prompted to give our next point, which is B, notice that our coordinate at B is 60 on our x-axis, comma, and it is still 10 on our y-axis. Line AB has been drawn. To obtain the point C, one would notice that we are still at 60 on our x-axis. And now we are at 60 on our x-axis and we are at 40 on our y-axis. Give enter. Line BC has been drawn. To get line CD or to get to point D, notice that D is 70 on our x-axis and it is 40 on our y-axis. And so we type 70, comma, 40, give enter. Line CD has been drawn. To get to point E, one only has to notice the coordinate at that point. Notice that E coincides on our x-axis with 70, and it coincides with 55 on our y-axis. And so our coordinate for E is 70, comma, 55, and give enter. Line has been drawn. To get to point F, the coordinate there is at 50 on our X and 55 on our Y. So the coordinate for F is 50, comma, 55 and give enter the line would have been drawn to get to point g notice again point g is still on our 50 value on our x-axis and it is 50 on our y-axis and so to get to and so to get to to g our value there would have been 50, comma, 50. Give enter. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Oh, I think I'm having some wrong values here on my graph. And that is what was messing me up all along. And I did. Good day, gentlemen. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at producing an object using our absolute coordinate system. All that would have been required is for us to define the points or define the coordinate at each point in relation to our zero point on our graph. Notice that in the absolute system, all points are measured from our point of origin. And so one would notice that our point A which we are going to be starting 
is at the point 20 on our x value on our x axis and 10 on our y axis and so to start we're going to be using polyline so let us go line and select polyline when prompted by AutoCAD to specify our start point we give 20 comma 10 and give enter AutoCAD starts its drawing at that point on our system where the coordinate is 20 from our x-axis and 10 in the direction of our y-axis so that's where our point A is found for point B notice that point B is at 60 on our x-axis and it is 10 in our y-axis so we give 60 comma 10 as our coordinate and press enter line a b has been drawn for point c notice that c is 60 on our x-axis and 40 on our y so the coordinate for c is 60 comma 40 and give enter line has been drawn to get to point D now to get to point D notice that D is 70 on our x-axis and it is 40 on our y so x is 70 comma 40 enter to get to E notice that E has coordinate 70 60 so we type 70 for our x comma 60 for our y give enter to get to f notice that f has 50 on our x and 60 on our y so we go 50 for our x comma 60 for our y values and give enter line ef has been drawn to get to point f to point g rather again notice that g coincides with 50 on our x-axis and also 50 on our y-axis so to get to g our coordinates is going to be 50 comma 50 enter the line has been drawn to get to h notice at h our coordinate is at 20 on our x and 50 on our y-axis so our coordinates is going to be 20 comma 50 give enter and to get back to our final point our coordinate there is still going to be back to 20 comma 10 give enter and give enter again the drawing is complete now in this system one would notice again that all values are given in relation to our origin and so if I could bring this into view one could also write the entire list of steps let me just um, have that to edit and um, let's see if we could use this now and write the entire list of sequences required to complete this drawing let's switch back to single screen giving myself a little bit more and so we say if we are starting at I'm sorry let's go again let's select that for editing let's select this for editing and let's edit and so if we say we are starting from a we simply type 20 comma 20 20 comma what was it 20 comma 10 was it thanks to get to B what do we type 
to get to be now notice what i'm saying here now to get to be notice we are at 60 comma 10 so to get to be it's going to be 60 comma 10 to get to c now that's going to be equal to notice at c we are at 60 comma 40 60 comma 40 to get to d it is going to be d is at 70 comma 40 is it and to get to where we get now we're getting to e to get to e we type e is still at 70 on our x and it is 60 on our y to get to f to get to f now at f we are at 50 comma f 50 comma 60 50 comma 60 ah and to get to g to get to g our coordinate there is going to be 50 comma 50 to get to h our coordinate at h is going to be 20 comma 50 on our y and to get back to a which is our starting point to get back to a we will remember that our coordinate at that point was 20 comma 10 and that would have been the list of sequences or the list of steps or our sequence of actions to complete the drawing using our absolute coordinate system again notice at a notice at a my cross here lines up with 20 on our x-axis and 10 on our y-axis notice when i'm at b notice my cross here lines up with 60 on our x-axis and 10 on our y-axis when i'm at c notice i'm at 60 40. when i'm at d i'm at 70 40. when i'm at e i'm at 70 60. when i'm at f i am at 50 60. when i'm at g i'm at 50 50. when i'm at h i am at 20 50. and back to a i am 20 10. now notice though and keep remembering that your values must always you should always represent your x values before our y values all right so that is the production of a drawing using the absolute coordinates it's a drawing that or it's a system really that is not really used that much um because we really draw um in in relation to our origin and so we tend to be using mostly our polar which we are going to be looking at in preview in our next in, in um a later video but for now we should now be able to produce or, sh or should now understand the concept of the absolute coordinates system thanks a lot for watching and join us in our next tutorial where we will be looking at our relative rectangle coordinate system